30 years ago, 85 counties in North Carolina were considered rural. Well, now it's down to 78, as many areas like Johnston County are becoming suburban. Also, more people are moving to metro areas like Raleigh, Durham, and Charlotte. When that migration happens, people in the counties they move from are affected. WRL's investigative data reporter, Ali Ingersoll, looks into what all this means. Patrick Woody's heart is almost 200 miles away from where he calls home. Piney Creek in Allegheny County is my center of the universe. Um, and that's a place where I feel the most at home. He's a Triangle resident now, living here as he works as the CEO of the North Carolina Rural Center, a nonprofit that focuses on economic development in rural counties. I know what it's like not to have everything that you might want to have. Rural counties are losing residents right now as urban ones see booming population growth, but not space. While North Carolina has long been considered a rural state, the most recent data shows that about a third of the population resides in a rural area, while more than 90% of the land in the state is considered rural. Looking at these numbers in your definition, is North Carolina rural? I think North Carolina is, is a good model for the the changing phase of the southeast and the nation in general. So traditionally what we had seen has been very urban, very rural communities are now changing. To get a better idea of that, let's look at this map created by Bob Coates, the state census liaison. The areas in green were urban in 2010. The ones in red are urban now. The growth of urban areas is taking a bigger and bigger chunk of our population. Certain funding is tied to whether an area is designated as rural or urban. And then there's the federal funding. The state estimates that each person counted brings in about $2,000 for a community. So rural communities that are affected by in-state migration are getting less funding. Woody says it matters in other ways, too. As the state's economy changes, these rural counties need to look at their assets and have to reimagine their identities. Rural should not measure success by trying to be like urban. The census will release its next batch of data in May. That'll give us a more detailed look at household demographics, which means areas will have a better idea of what population is moving away or into an area. Important information for funding and policy decisions. For WRL News, I'm Allie Ingersoll.